Have you ever stopped to question the nature of your existence and consciousness? This query invites us to delve deeper into the very fabric of our being. It prompts us to think beyond our physical existence and venture into the realm of consciousness. Imagine if we were not merely individuals, living out our lives, but communication platforms for other entities. These entities, intriguingly referred to as soul harvesters, allegedly use us, humans, to transmit information and thoughts. They utilize us as conduits, turning our existence into a complex communication platform. This perspective may seem radical, even unsettling, but it compels us to reconsider what it means to be human. It forces us to look beyond our understanding of existence as a solitary journey and view it instead as a shared interconnected experience. This perspective challenges our traditional understanding of our own existence, prompting us to ask, are we truly in control of our thoughts and actions? In this digital age, we are surrounded by communication platforms that connect us with others. But what if these platforms are more than just tools for human interaction. Imagine for a moment, Facebook, WhatsApp, and even radio, not just as mediums through which we share information and express ourselves, but as conduits for entities beyond our comprehension. These entities, referred to by Mulat Tazibu as soul harvesters, exploit our digital lives to transmit thoughts and information. But where does this leave our true selves? According to Tazibu, we are not the ones living out our lives on these platforms. Rather, what we see and experience is a performance, a display of uploaded thoughts or programs within us. It's like we're on a stage, but the script we're following isn't our own. We are not truly alive, but rather we are dormant, serving as vessels for these soul harvesters. This unsettling theory challenges the traditional notion of human existence and raises questions about the very nature of our consciousness. It suggests that our sense of individuality and autonomy may be nothing more than a well-crafted illusion. Are we truly in control of our thoughts and actions, or are we just conduits for external entities? As we navigate our digital lives, it's worth pondering on the authenticity of our experiences and interactions. Are our experiences and interactions genuine, or are they merely a product of manipulation by these soul harvesters? If we are indeed being used by external entities, what are the implications for our personal lives and relationships? This perspective raises significant concerns about privacy and the manipulation of our thoughts and emotions. The idea of being a communication platform for these so-called soul harvesters suggests that our thoughts may not be entirely our own. This could mean that our personal experiences and the emotions we feel may not be genuine, but rather a product of manipulation by these external entities. Imagine for a moment, a world where your most private thoughts are not your own, but rather the product of a soul harvester. A world where your emotions are not a reflection of your experiences, but rather a programmed response from an entity you're unaware of. This raises fundamental questions about the authenticity of our experiences and the very nature of our existence. In addition, if we are being used as vessels for the transmission of information, what does this mean for our relationships with others? Are our interactions with our loved ones genuine, or are they merely a result of the influence of these soul harvesters? It's a chilling thought that challenges our understanding of human connection and intimacy. Furthermore, this perspective prompts us to question the extent to which we are truly in control of our own thoughts and actions. If our thoughts and actions are influenced by these external entities, are we truly autonomous beings, or are we merely conduits for these soul harvesters? It also forces us to consider the potential influence of external forces on our lives. Could our decisions, our beliefs, our values be influenced by these entities? Could they be shaping our world in ways we are unaware of? These are profound questions that challenge our understanding of free will and personal agency. While this perspective may seem unsettling, it serves as a stark reminder to critically examine the role of technology and communication platforms in our lives. It highlights the need for us to be vigilant and thoughtful about the information we consume and the interactions we engage in. In conclusion, Mulat Tazabu's perspective challenges our traditional understanding of human existence. It suggests that we may not be natural beings, but rather communication platforms for soul harvesters. It prompts us to question the extent to which we are truly in control of our own thoughts and actions, 
and to consider the potential influence of external forces. While this perspective may challenge our traditional understanding of human existence, it serves as a reminder to critically examine the role of technology and communication platforms in our lives. Are we truly in control of our own thoughts and actions or are we merely conduits for external entities?